Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey guys, how are you doing? How's it going? I hope you all are doing fantastically today. I, I, I couldn't wish more for you. Today, I'm gonna go back to doing a full reaction to Amber Lynn Reed's most recent live stream from Tuesday, August 17th. Some people have been enjoying the recaps and some people are like, Zach, I would love a reaction. And honestly, truly, it's just like, oh my gosh, how painful to sit through like two hours and recording myself watching this nonsense. So, a couple things. I am gonna have her sped up a little bit. I know sometimes people are like, she's too fast when you do that, Zach. But also, um, she sounds sometimes normal to me because she literally talks very slowly, unlike me who talks very, very, very quickly. And two, I'm probably not really going to react to every little single thing she does because that's just, that not everything she does is interesting, let's be honest. And then let me give you some updates about things that have happened since. So I didn't react to her last live stream, I think, from what I can gather from Twitter, the internet, people on my Twitch stream, etc., the most exciting things that happened were that Becky might have whispered something about some personal services she offers to Amberlynn or used to offer to Amberlynn. And then two, some things about like their past sexual history, which like on that note, let's be honest, Amberlynn and Becky have both said that they have not been, like, romantical in that kind of way in quite some time. So, like, people out here being surprised, I'm like, they've been telling us. <laughs> they've been telling us. So I didn't really feel the need to react to that, plus I was just doing some other things with my time. It didn't feel like a good use of my personal time. And then the other thing that happened is that Amberlynn updated her Instagram bio to say that she is taken. So if you didn't see that, I will pop it up for you to see. But yeah, allegedly, according to Amberlynn, she's taken. So wow, wifey really, really came in fast. All of this, whoever, whatever about, oh, we're just talking. I don't know if I want a relationship. Girl, ma'am, father, brother, sister, auntie, uncle, Really? So anyways, that brings us to today's reaction, which is her live stream from this past Tuesday. And I personally am mildly excited about it because she's got a bottle of wine, Becky's not there, giving me big vibes of the drunk Valentine's Day wine live stream she did after breaking up with Destiny, which like I think at the time she might have already been talking to Becky. I mean, y'all know I live for this kind of mess, so I'm very excited to react to this. I hope you all enjoy it, and let's get to, let's get to. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm having, like, anxiety moment, so we're just gonna, like, embrace that together. <sighs> and my ring light is not in the right, it's supposed to be right in front of me, but it's, like, not, so. Okay. Um... Oh. Yeah, so hi. Okay. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Evelyn. Hello. Uh, also, interesting, I mean, I, I did mention that I don't think Becky's present for this live stream. She did just mention anxiety. She has claimed in the past that she wouldn't be able to do live streams without Becky. What will she ever do? How will she do her job that she's been doing for six to eight years? Hard to say, but here she is with a bottle of wine, so let's, let's keep going. Uh, a wine stream, yes. I figured I'd drink some wine. Yeah. This is Rose Bay. I don't know. Let's do. Moment, so. Yeah. Um, you look pretty today. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> y'all, Becky is not here. Clearly. She's not here. And you're gonna and be I'll okay. Why, I guess. Um, you're gonna be fine. When more people come in here, so. <laughs> Okay. I what? I'm living, but what is so funny? What what are all the giggles for, girl? I curiously for you. Okay. So I'm gonna take my first drink now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Just drinking straight oh, from good. the straight from the bottle. Is everything okay? I mean, I can't lie, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. So live your truth, girl. Yeah, straight from the bottle the best way. I figured why not. Do you why? guys remember that um, why not? live stream I did after Destiny broke up with me? I sure do. That was a hoon berry. 
I I don't know what the fuck a Hootenberry is, but it was iconic. <laughs> it really was. I am actually. I'm doing pretty good. I am having a little bit of anxiety, and I guess I'll tell you guys why. Okay, let's hear. Um, so, Becky went to her family's this weekend, and uh-huh. I already said that. We, me and her talked. We're like, should we say, or should we not? We decided we will say. So, Becky went to her family's this weekend, and one of the family members that she was hanging out with started feeling sick. Uh-huh. So. She went, I think, like, to urgent care or something. Oh, no, and got rapid COVID tested, and she tested positive. So I see. Becky is quarantining for two weeks, okay. and I'm alone for two weeks. Like, I'm well, gonna... y'all get vaccinated if you can. I would appreciate it. I think we all would. Kind of, like, anxiety about it, like, for sure. Ugh. So I'm going to be fine, though. Like, I know I'm going to be fine. But um, I just don't feel comfortable with Becky coming here, obviously. It just makes the most, sen- most sense. I would, I would agree. To, um stay with her family who has the COVID since she was already there. I would agree. And also I hope that this brings out some confidence in you that you can do this job on your own. Now, I don't know, I don't know how the alcohol is going to play into this uh, because it seems like maybe you're drinking alcohol to help calm your anxiety, which I always feel like is maybe a questionable choice, like to, to drink alcohol to cope with like what we're naturally feeling. Probably not the best choice, but I hope you can come and take from this the idea that you can do this without Becky. I believe in you, Amberlynn. I'm a little worried because it was like nine days ago, I was actually hanging out with Becky's sister. She's not the one with COVID, but mm-hmm. Becky's sister lives with the one that has COVID, if that makes sense. So okay. I'm well, worried. Go, I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Girl, go get tested. What are you doing? Just go get a test. Go get tested. I mean, I guess you can't drive anywhere, so you would have to wait until somebody can drive you to get tested. But get tested. <laughs> Why would you not just do that? Why would you not just go and, and get tested and verify, like, yeah, I don't have it? Why wouldn't you do that? And it's like so crazy because I found that out yesterday. And then um, today I found out one of my friends has COVID. And this is someone that you guys know. I'm not gonna say who because it's, you know. Um, so <laughs> Why even say that then? Why say it's somebody you know, but I'm not gonna tell you who. Girl, you know how the internet works. People are gonna speculate. They're gonna go search down Eric and Ricky's social media. They're gonna look for Rafe and Hannah. They're gonna be looking for Crystal. They're gonna be looking for all the people Dana Destiny. <laughs> Y'all, why does she do this? Is she why does she do this? If if you weren't gonna tell us, you could have just said I had a friend, or you could have just said nothing. I will not be reading any stupid like hate things because it's just like pointless, so I have to say, I'm not sure what stupid hate things in the chat she's talking about, but there are a lot of people asking about Becky wiping. <laughs> so I will say that's currently what I see in the chat that she might be not reading. Is your immune system too weak to fight it or are you just trying to avoid it? I don't know if my immune system's bad or not, but I'm definitely trying to avoid it. Well, regardless of if her immune system is bad or not, like the smart thing to do is to avoid it. Like COVID has fucked up people's lives who aren't immunocompromised. Like, I have a friend who's like way more healthy, way more fit, way more active than I am, and they got COVID and their life was miserable for like a few weeks, okay? (laughs) Like, it's not something you want even if you're healthy. Like, it makes sense that she would want to avoid getting it. So this live stream's gonna be probably boring because Becky's not here. I feel like Becky is like the entertainment. Becky is well, not. I think it's just we vibe off of you. Becky is not the entertainment. <laughs> just to be clear, <laughs> like Becky does bring the entertainment, but Becky alone is not the entertainment. It, it very much is the two of you shading each other at this point. That is the entertainment. <sighs> I don't have that person to vibe off of. I don't True. know YouTube by myself anymore. I'm just being honest. Like I don't know what it is. I wish I had to Girl, what are you going to do? Like, I literally just watched it and it already looks greasy. I'm just what like, do you mean you can't do YouTube on your own anymore? Shit's not making sense to me. Like, it's really annoying. Um, do you still pay Becky? Is, is it a paid leave? Um, I don't really know. I don't know. Spill some tea. It'll be exciting. Do I have tea? Um, I'm no longer single. Yeah. Is that tea? I don't know. I'm sure you guys all know because um, I we do. Like it. <laughs> We do. Oh God, I put taken on my um Instagram. We're aware. Heard gunshot. Did you guys hear that? Love that. Okay, so we're starting off good these two weeks. I swear I just heard gunshot. I don't um, know what you're talking but yeah, about, but okay. I am taken. 
<laughs> yeah, we saw the Insta. I know. Um, she asked me to be her girlfriend. I was not expecting that at all. Um, obviously, I said yes. Let's be real. Um, Interesting. Yeah, so that's that. That's, I don't know if that's tea. You guys already knew, but... Um, Interesting. <laughs> I also, like... Listen, is it a thing that people, like, put taken in their bio? Well, let me just go check and make sure. I don't... I might... I have my dogs in my Instagram bio. I don't think I say anything about... I don't think I say, yeah, I, I'm looking and I don't say anything about, about my partner, but I do mention my two dogs and where you can follow them on Instagram. Like, is that a thing that people do or does she just want attention for, for no longer being single? Could somebody, could somebody help me out with that question in the chat, in the comments, please? When will y'all get to meet in person? Um, September. September, but yes. she's trying to come like sooner and I'm just like super anxious about it. Um, I'm nervous, so. Just. Just let her come sooner. You get all giddy talking about her. I know. Because she really does make me happy. And a lot of people don't get it. Or Young it. love. I totally get it. I feel like if I was watching someone who literally just got out of a relationship and like already was in another one, I'd be like, oh my God, what the hell's wrong with this person? But. I love when she can look in a mirror and say these things to herself and still not get it. <laughs> it just slays me. You guys, we're not in a relationship with Becky and I and you're not feeling how I feel with this other person. True. So I understand why you guys would like judge and be confused and stuff. True. But. Well, I'm not judging. I just, I just like, look at that mirror a little bit longer and just see how this is what happened after you broke up with Destiny and this is what happened when she broke up with Crystal and things might, things might start clicking for you, girl. Things might start, the gears might start turning a little bit. I'm moving way too fast. I'm good. Like, trust me. I don't, trust but me. you're, me. Like, it I, it's not a matter of trusting you, girl. You got a track record. You have a track record, a full on track record. It's not a matter of if I trust you or not, which let's be honest, I don't, but you got a track record. There is history here. History. Hi, crazy for coffee. Um, but you have so much to work on within yourself. Mm -hmm. I do. And she's been helping me with that. Like she supports me in ways that I've never been supported. Like, I've literally talked about this before. Oh my so God. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but... Um. <laughs> You're gonna get... Listen, at least this time, Becky's not sitting next to you, but when she says that this, this person is supporting her in ways that nobody ever has, like... I don't know why she keeps saying that because it gets people so fired up because they're like, oh, Becky didn't support you. Becky didn't do anything for you. And I definitely understand why she is saying what she's saying because she's saying it's like, it's a different kind of support that she's never experienced. But people, she doesn't understand that that really gets people irritated. People are like, literally Becky was by your side while you had cancer. Like, what do you mean nobody's ever supported you like this before? Like, like, and I, I get it, y'all. I get why y'all are frustrated that she says that shit in front of Becky. Because it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm sure Becky supported her in many ways, including the services we previously mentioned. Yeah, I'm worried. Because, like, no one in my life got the vaccine. And it just, like, freaks me out. Because there are people in my life who, like, aren't the healthiest. And I'm worried that they're gonna get COVID and, like, something bad's gonna happen to them. And it just sucks. And I know it's, like, people's choice or whatever, but it's just, like... <sighs> just get the vaccine. If you're watching this and you're not vaccinated, please just listen to me. Ugh. This is the only thing yes. that you can listen to me on. There's, there's not many things that Amber Lynn and I agree on, but th this is one of them. This is one of them. Becky doesn't care if I talk about this. I don't care what she says. I don't care, like, whatever. But um, we never kissed. We, like, never hugged. Like, she never complimented me. I probably didn't compliment her. Like, I wasn't perfect either. Um, there was just nothing, like, at all. So it's, like, nothing has changed, it feels like. Besides maybe we vibe better because there's not this, like, big heavy feeling, like, on our chest or on our shoulders anymore. Because it did feel kind of like I was stuck in a cage and I didn't know how to get out. And I'm pretty sure that's how she felt, too. Because you can, like, tell. She just seems, like, relieved and stuff. Okay, well, a couple things. One, wild that you're, like, explaining your relationship like this and, like, literally y'all were engaged to be married, but... That's neither here nor there. I think I think we've beaten that dead horse. Like, there's clearly was no love between them. A, a lot of it was like Amberlynn living in fantasy land. But two, I think that, that <laughs> that's the thing that she doesn't get is like, it's not a matter of the delusion that she had about her relationship with Becky that, that she now suddenly has clarity on, that they were just roommates and things like that. It's that she's 
moving on so quickly in a way that she has done time and time again and not realizing the things that she could learn from, from these situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like she has not learned anything and, and like jumping into these relationships so quickly. I think she's missing the point <laughs> when people say that she's moving on too quickly. It's not about whatever her relationship was or is with Becky. It's really about like, she's repeating past behaviors, past mistakes. Like, like you think that this is gonna suddenly result in some kind of like different relationship? There wasn't even ever like romance. Like never. Never? There was never, cause that's a new story. Cause first it was like, at some point there was romance, but now you're saying never. There was never romance, not once, not never. It was just really weird. I think her and I were just very lonely when we first met. So it was just like easy to, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it doesn't even matter. Are you saying- is, I wasn't happy with her like that and she wasn't happy with me. And now I am happy. And yeah, but are you saying you're not, you're not in a place where you might be super lonely now where you, you have met wifey? Or I'm just, I'm just asking, like, you've literally been isolated for like a past year and a half, like all of us have because of the pandemic. And you just ended this very long-term relationship. So you're trying to tell me right now you're not in a super lonely place when you're meeting this person? And which, by the way, you haven't like literally actually met them, just FaceTime for 14 hours a day. But you're telling me you're not in a lonely place now? Like that's what people are saying. Like take some time to just like focus on you. Find out who you are. Get to a place where you're not like dependent on another relationship and live your truth. And then maybe go back out into that pond, you know? Um, why did you agree to marry her? <sighs> I don't know. You guys know that when I announced my engagement, you guys saw that like I didn't seem as happy as like a normal like person would be. And I kept yeah. trying to like tell you guys, no, that's not true. Like I am really yeah. happy. Like right. obviously I was happy because it's like, okay, I got a beautiful ring and like Becky wants to be with me forever. Like it's a good feeling, but deep down in my gut, I I wasn't happy like I should have been. And like I come on live stream a lot and I try to like act happier than I really am sometimes. And I think that's what I did with the whole like engagement thing is like I was trying really hard to be like, yes, I'm happy about this. But I just felt, I honestly didn't feel anything when she proposed. And it's like, it's so embarrassing, but like, I kind of like, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Listen, I don't know what she's about to say, but what, what I will say is her trying to come on and act like she acts a different sort of type of way, whoever, whatever, is one of the reasons why people like, don't find her to be authentic and then when they they call it out and they see it and they say because i remember i remember when she got engaged and people were saying hey like you don't actually seem that happy about this and she's like no i'm so excited this is the best time of my life blah 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 blah, blah. it's just like girl this is why people don't trust you i mean you want to go back to the beginning of the stream where you're like trust me trust me trust me this is why people don't trust you girl because you admit out loud to everybody that like you come on here and pretend to be a different feeling than you actually are and i'm not saying like you have to come on here and be sad and whoever whatever i'm just saying like be honest when you do come on here right like if you're feeling sad or if you're not feeling a certain type of way then don't come on here and tell everybody that you are i mean this is how you build trust with your audience you come on you be authentic to who you are every single time you be yourself and you go on you go on i do think it's possible that sometimes like people stay in relationships because they think they're happy they're whoever whatever but she's what she's saying right now is she knew in the time that she was not happy which is different than saying like, oh, looking back, I don't think I was as happy as I thought it was. Those are two different things. You know what I'm saying? So she's admitting like at the time she felt happy. It's not, not this sudden revelation like, oh, looking back, I probably wasn't as happy as I thought I was. At least that's my interpretation of like what she just said. And I think, I just think that's phony baloney. Absolutely phony baloney. Here's tea. You know how like when you're when someone proposes like you're supposed to like cry like I low-key like tried to fake cry. Mm, I know that sounds so bad. That's oh my very god. cringe. Admitting it is like so just horrible. I don't know. Becky and I just weren't good like that. Very like cringe. Friends. Very cringe. Also that you would. I mean I don't know. People stay in relationships for all kinds of reasons. But again, this is like why people are like, 
we don't we don't necessarily always buy what you're selling, Amberlynn. I'm just I'm just saying that as like a piece of feedback to consider as you continue to be a public figure, okay? <laughs> that this is why people don't always buy what you're selling. Do you think you got with Becky to avoid being alone? Um. I, I want to hear this. No, because I was living by myself at the time and I actually kind of enjoyed it. Like you get to walk around naked, there's no one there to like mess up your house. Like, cause I like my place really clean and Becky and I are uh -huh. very different when it comes to that. Um, we're different like when it comes to decor, when it comes to like rules of the house, like everything is so different. So, you know, living by yourself is actually really nice. And at the time, um, I enjoyed- I'm not, okay, first of all, Regardless of if you enjoyed living by yourself or not, you literally said your relationship with Becky started because you both were super lonely. So how are you going to switch this now to be like, all of a sudden, it wasn't because you wanted to avoid being alone? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, you literally moments ago said that you both were super lonely. And, and I also just want to say, again, like, maybe take some time to reflect on these things now as you're quickly getting into this internet wifey relationship. I was living by myself, so it definitely was not that at all. I think that I was just hurting really. I know this people are like, oh my God, a pattern. I promise this is totally different this time. I swear to you. But like, I was hurting really bad when Destiny broke up with me. And I kind of wanted to numb that. So like, I almost like, ma'am, ma'am, out in a way, ma'am, no, I now no, listen to yourself, please, please just take a listen to what you're saying right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like the level of self-awareness you have about past relationships and how you, ugh. also, I'm, I'm also struggling because it's like, you're you're taking like the oh I don't want to be alone like I don't want to live on my own thing the wrong way like people were asking if you wanted to live alone or not and, like if you wanted to live with somebody and you were trying to escape living with out somebody people were asking like did you move on to Becky because you were super alone and lonely which is what you said earlier I don't is this making sense I feel like she's got my brain in circles like none of this is adding up and I'm so frustrated that she <laughs> that she could have so much clarity about a previous relationship and not realize that she's traveling down that same exact path right now like I just want to be like girl she needs a friend. She needs, she needs a good friend, a sassy gay friend, maybe even to just be like, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, take a look at this mirror. Take a look in this mirror, Snow White. Take a look. Cause you're repeating, you're repeating the same behaviors. And she needs that friend. She needs somebody to come tell her that. I wasn't really hurting. Like I thought I was hurting, but really when Becky broke up with me, I was just scared of the future is what it was. I was crying because, like, I was scared of what that was going to mean for me, um, for my future. Like, the unknown freaks me out, like, really bad. So, when I uh, thought I was crying because Becky broke up with me, no, it wasn't even, I don't know how to explain it. It's really hard to, like, I should be talking to my therapist about this, like, what am I doing right now? Oh, uh, T! Um, T! Wow, T, true, true. Hi, welcome to the internet is not your therapist. YouTube is not your therapist. Is that why you never wore the rings? <sighs> kind of. I when I was Stop. Like that, I didn't feel proud. Like I thought they were beautiful. A lot of people Stop. hated them, which is so weird to me. No. Like, super... Again, your your lies, you're exposing yourself for your previous lies because you had all kinds of reasons about why you weren't wearing the rings. You had all kinds of reasons and now it's because you didn't feel love, like because you weren't really No. Ma'am. Ma'am, I'm just like, I I don't know, because now it's kind of like, were you were you lying then? Or is it actually that you're lying now and you're rewriting history? Because it kind of could be that. I feel like you're really trying to downplay this idea that you were ever in love with Becky, despite telling us over and over and over again, I'm in love with Becky, Becky is the love of my life, whoever, whatever. Now it feels like you're trying to say like, no, I was lying about all that. Like, which one is it? <laughs> Either way, you're a lie. You are a lie, girl. You are a lie. Becky and Amber had broken up emotionally a long time ago. Rosie, you couldn't have said it better. It was literally emotionally and physically. Like, I was gonna say it. Oh God, okay, here's tea. I was gonna say it um, last live stream, but I stopped myself. The last time Becky and I, <laughs> 
<laughs> do I really want to say this? The last time Becky and I, um, you know, was February 2018. So take that with what you will. Um, so it's been years that I just literally felt like I wasn't even in a relationship. So Ma'am. now maybe you guys can understand now why I've moved on. Oh. Hey, Twink girl. Twinkie store. She literally thinks that she's like, I don't even know. Twinkie store? Oh girl, Twinkie girl, you're ruining the tea. What you like isn't really tea, because at this point... Again, they have said over and over and over again that there was nothing there physically, so it's whatever. But I just, like, I, I think, if anything, the reason that it's surprising maybe to people is because Amber Lynn has been telling us how in love they are forever. I also think it, like, is interesting thinking back a little bit about, like, all those times that she did those, like, little cards where she answered embarrassing questions about sex and stuff like that, where she, like, couldn't talk about sex. Like, I think that that also is maybe something to think about. I'm not sure what to think about it, but it just, like, comes to my mind when she says that she and uh, Becky haven't done, you know, since February 2018. Uh, it, it's interesting. It's interesting to think about that, that she struggled so much to talk about sex openly in those situations and now knowing what we know. I don't know. You think about it. You just think about it. Will you say sorry for lying to us for the past three years? No, because my sexual life is no one's business. And if but, I want to say I'm having sex when I'm not, that's my business. If I want to say I'm not having sex when I am, like, for, it is what it is. I don't think, you know. Do you th I don't know that any... W w was that person asking about the sex lies or were they asking about the just, like, general lies about how much you loved Becky when you're now saying you didn't love Becky this whole time? I don't even know that I remember you openly talking about having sex with Becky. I could be wrong, but I don't personally remember that. But what I do remember is you going on and 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 on about how much you loved Becky, how um how excited you were to be engaged, even though everybody said you don't look excited. The the things that you said about why you were were not wearing your wedding rings, and by wedding rings I mean engagement rings. So I think there's a lot to consider here, Amberlynn. I don't know that people were asking about why you did or did not lie about your sex life. Do your job instead of texting. I can do both. I'm a good multitasker. I can do both. <laughs> I'm not sure that you can. You just uh, spent like four to five minutes looking at your, your phone screen because you got texts from wifey. I'm not, I'm not sure you can do both actually. You guys, I'm giving you free will opportunity to ask whatever you want right now someone actually suggested like if i should do a live stream um where like i talk about like all the rumors and stuff and like debunk them or like confess or whatever but it seems like whenever i do that you guys still don't accept like my answer for like the truth so well girl you don't you don't tell the truth <laughs> you don't tell the truth also how is that any different than any of the last like two to three months of live streams that we've gotten from you. Like, is that not what you already do on live stream? I'm just asking for clarification um, for all the people here. Cause I think, I think we're all probably a little bit confused about how that's any different than any other live stream you've done. Like what, what would you say you do on live streams? If not that, I'm, I'm just curious. You were never sexually attracted to Becky. I don't know how to answer that question. I really don't. I, I think it's easy. It's a yes or no. <laughs> it's a yes or a no. You either were once upon a time sexually attracted to her or you weren't. It's just a it's just a yes or no question. Where do you want to live? Seattle. Chug the bottle, we want to see drunk. Well, a lot of you pointed this out. Like she's never mentioned Seattle before in the past. And I'm just like, is that where wifey is? Is that why you want to move to Seattle? Like, I I agree with a lot of you. Like, I don't remember her ever talking about wanting to live in Seattle once. I, I really don't. And now all of a sudden, it, it's where she brings up every single time somebody asks her where she wants to live. Oh, it's Seattle. Seattle. Girl, since when? Would you ever live stream with Wifey on FaceTime? <laughs> you know, that's actually a boom berry. Because, wait, hold on. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> because she might be on FaceTime right now. <laughs> no! I'm fucking dead right now. Ma'am. She might be on FaceTime. <laughs> Ma'am! Uh, she's muted, because I said, shh, don't be talking. So. Okay, well, first of all, that's weird. Why is she just on FaceTime just watching you? 
Like, like, that's bizarre to me. But two, but two, the last live stream I reacted to, you talked about how you didn't want wifey to be a, wifey doesn't want to be on, on stream, wifey doesn't want to be a part of the channel. Bullshit. Bullshit. I am not buying what you're selling anymore, Amber Lynn. You, you're out here purposely bringing her up. You, now, girl, you have to know, you have to know when you bring her up, the people on the internet are going to go looking for her. You've been doing this thing for a while. So you either don't put her on here or you put her on here. I'm not saying it's right that people are going to look at her up, but I have to tell you that, like, I don't know what you're expecting to do when you tease her like this. When you tease her out to your audience like this, like, <laughs> she's on FaceTime right now, but she's on mute. I, I said, shh, shh, I said, shh. <laughs> what? She's smiling so big. I wish that you guys could see. Uh, Trust me. Okay, then show us. Trust me. Put up or shut up, Amber Lynn. Show us or don't. I <laughs> I hate this version of Amber Lynn where she's just like, oh, here's little bits I'm going to tease you with. It's disrespectful that you can't hang up for one hour. Oh my god. I'm totally fine. I do think it's a little disrespectful that she can't be separated from this woman. She's she's out here acting like she isn't like codependent on other people around her, but she can't even hang up the FaceTime call for one hour to go live and do her job. Like does she again, this is the part where I don't think she realizes that her job is so different than like most of the people who watch her, right? Her job people who watch her don't have a job where they can be at work on FaceTime with their wifeys and just like having a grand old time. You want to hear her voice? <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me text her real quick. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. She might talk. <laughs> oh my god. I swear if she actually talks. <laughs> oh my god, you hear me echoing? Oh my god, you hear me echoing? Wait, no, mute me. Do you hear that? That was so annoying because she's watching me. So, <laughs> wait, I didn't. I don't. I no idea. Came I don't. Out, literally, no idea. I don't feel like I heard her voice cl clear enough. I want to go back. Let's see. I want to hear it. What you want me to say? Oh, what you want me to say? Oh. <laughs> okay, this is so dumb. I people are. Oh God, this is so dumb. Like so dumb because she allegedly doesn't want to be a part of the stream. But all right, let's put her voice out there. Let's create more speculation. Okay, let's let's fast forward back again. <laughs> you have no idea. You have literally no idea. Oh my God. I was thinking the alcohol was gonna make me like feel hot in my face, but it's actually this. So uh, th this. We asked her questions. Ooh. I can't believe that this is where we're at right oh, now. <laughs> yeah, we call each other baby, baby, like all of it. Um, what is wifey's favorite thing about you? Do you want her to just text it? Okay, I'm gonna say just text it because it's I, like echoes. It's no, I want to just, first of all, technology is not hard. Tell her to mute your goddamn stream and then answer the question or don't. <laughs> I, again, I don't know why this woman is allegedly doesn't want to be on the channel, but will will speak on FaceTime, it, none of it's making sense to me. Your heart, you are the kindest and most giving person I've ever had the pleasure to have in my life. I'm leaving. Ugh. Okay, so that was her answer. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Interesting. I, a lot of people have mentioned that like this person might be singing a different tune once they're like fully together in real life. Cause like, how much can you really know how kind a person is when you just like communicate through FaceTime? Like, I know that that's a, a part of, of relationships nowadays. Like people meet online all the time. I don't have an issue with that. I literally met my, my now partner on the internet. Okay. But like you, you can't, you can't say that like, you're the kindest person I've ever met when you've known this person through FaceTime for like a month. Also, Judy is just rolling around on the ground over here. I don't know if you can hear that. Also, Amberlynn's inability to do a live stream on her own, like literally since Becky's not here, now wifey is, is here to, to be the entertainment. Like, girl, this is your job. <laughs> like, I don't understand why you can't do one live stream by yourself. What is her favorite food? Do you wanna, um, Say it out loud or text it? <laughs> Ramen. Okay, say it again? Ramen. 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 There you go. All right, there you, there you go. go. I knew the answer to that already, by the way. 
Oh wow, you're so you're so close and connected. You knew what her favorite food was. Wow, the 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 start of a great relationship. Uh, favorite hobbies? I just built a computer, so I guess that. I don't know if you guys heard, but she just built a computer, so. This is, mm -hmm. I'm so annoyed. Look at this, this is so. I'm, I'm, so, like Destiny, I'm, leaving. I'm so annoyed that she basically said, wifey, come be Becky, because I can't do this on my own. This is annoying to me. And it's annoying to me because she made this big deal about how wifey didn't want to be on live stream on whoever, whatever, whatever. She touches down on that Kentucky soil in September and she's going to be in a video in a live stream in a whatever we're doing on the internet at that point in time with Amber Lynn. That's what's going to happen. Uh, okay, what's your favorite music artist? J. Cole. Ooh, J. Cole. You know who else likes J. Cole a lot? Tammy Slayton. Unrelated, I'm sure, but <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Wifey, what are your intentions with our girl? Ooh. Are you gonna say that out loud? You're gonna you gonna troll? <laughs> I don't even know what that meant. Yeah. Okay, go. That's my wife. The intention is to hopefully marry her one day. Stop. Stop. No. I can't. I can't. Not this. You y'all have literally been dating a month. Y'all have literally been dating a month. Not this. I hope to marry her someday. I can't. I can't. I'll, I'll, I'm also very anti-marriage just as a concept for myself. So maybe that's my bias. But also, y'all have known each other for like a month. Y'all haven't even met in real life. Like, girl, are you... Wifey, are you sure? Are you sure you want to commit to that right now? What's your favorite movie? Hold on. Oh, I swear she told me this. Favorite movie. Mm. Damn. Mm. Baby, come on. Oh, you scared me. Okay, wait, what is it? Wait, I forget. Give me a hint. Oh, so you're, you are as close as you thought. You know her favorite food, but you don't know her favorite movie. I don't believe that you are soulmates. You are not, it's not destined to be. It's, it's, it's not destined to be. The one I used to watch with my mom. Oh my God, how do I not remember this? Okay, what's my favorite movie then? No, girl, this isn't how this works. You don't get to be like, well, I can't remember your favorite movie, so, um, to prove that you are truly in love with me, tell me what your favorite movie is, or my favorite movie, whatever, whoever. This is stupid. This is so cringe at this point. What are we doing here, y'all? What, what is going on? Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. <sighs> okay, what is it? I forget. Don't judge me for this. Willie Wonka and the Chocolate <gasps> Yes, yes, Willie. Oh my God, I'm so mad. How did I forget that? I don't know, Amber Lynn. I don't know. You can't remember the most important details about your future wifey? Uh, destined to fail. This is stupid. This is so dumb. Will you and wifey make this together in September? No. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. She's already in a live stream. Even if it's just her voice, she's going to be in a video. She's going to be in a video. I don't believe it for a second, ma'am. If Becky had broken up with you, would you still be together? Yes, we probably would, because I'm very much that type of person who is afraid to, <laughs> I can't, is afraid to, um, what was I saying? To leave. Ma'am, turn the FaceTime off if you can't focus on what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Turn the FaceTime off. You clearly struggled to answer that question because you're too infatuated with wifey. I'm sick of it. Will wifey be here for vlogmas? I don't really know the future like that. <laughs> Sorry, I keep having to block people. Like I'm just yes, not. Please. Excuse me? She said, yes, I will be. Oh! oh see, see, I'm just like, clearly wifey wants to be a part of this. If she just interjected that she wants to be, or she's gonna be around for vlogmas, who are, she's gonna be. She's got to be in the videos. This is how every single thing. Becky once upon a time didn't want to be in videos either. Becky once upon a time. I swear. I swear it used to be the case that Becky didn't want to be in videos. So if we're acting like she won't be, if she's still in the picture, she'll be in videos. She sure will. Y'all, I'm in love. I'm in love. And you know what? In love? So is she. And you know what? This is the first time she's ever been in love, actually. In I'm love? Sure. I'm sure she's fine with it. It is what it is. Y'all don't have to understand it like we do, and that's totally fine. In love? You've known her for a month! I just... <laughs> I just don't understand. It took me months to, again, I, I know not everybody's the same. Everybody experiences relationships differently, but it took me a few months to tell my now long-term partner 
that I love them. Okay, a few months. And I interacted with Noel all the time in real life. <laughs> okay, I, you've known her for a month. When was Whitey's last girlfriend before you? Um, a little recent. <laughs> oh, so. A bit recent. Um, oh, so. She's in vibe with her, so. So you are also wifey's rebound. Y'all are rebounds for each other. Wow, match made in heaven. Okay, y'all, the editing might look a little weird because literally like the last, I don't know, 10, 15 <laughs> minutes of the live stream were just her like trying to self-diagnose issues with drinking alcohol and like talking about weed. I don't know. It was just like not interesting to me, not entertaining. And I was like, listen, this, this video is long enough. If I don't have shit to say about that, that's fine. I just have to say the whole thing with wifey at this point, kind of cringe, kind of cringe that like, she's just moving on so quickly and is like, so self-aware of where maybe some issues came up between her relationship with her and Becky but like can't see how those same issues would come up with this new relationship. I don't know, I'm not saying that's gonna end the same way, but like it's very clear that there is repeated history here, repeated behaviors, repeated patterns, and it is what it is. And while I was taking a break between like finishing watching it and filming this part of the video, I noticed that Amber Lynn <laughs> posted a gift that she got from Wifey on her Instagram, so I'll post that up right here. It's just wild to me. It's just wild to me that this is where we're at. Who would have thought this is where we would end up? <laughs> Who would have thought? I don't know that I saw this coming in 2021, but I'm not mad about it. I'm here and I'm watching it. I'm eating it up. I'm drinking it up. I'm, I, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I am here. So anyways, that's all I have for today. Let me know your thoughts down below. If this is your first time on one of my videos, make sure to click subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notifications. Leave comments, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. I had so much fun today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!